In this video, I'm going to show you how to mirror an object. Uh, I'm going to use this object here, um, which already has a mirror either side or is mirrored either side. I'm going to first uh, delete half of it. I'm going to go to orthographic view, line it up with the front, and I'm going to delete everything on one side just so we can act as though this is. Let's get rid of these. Act as though. You know, for whatever reason, we've had to delete all this because we've worked really hard on one side and we forgot to turn on the mirror button or, you know, something has, has gone wrong. So here we have half of it. It's pretty much ready to go. This actually works in a couple of clicks. We have the layer icon over here, layer uh, window properties. Over here we have add a new layer. Uh, we have duplicate current layer. We have merge layers down. And then we have rename layer and delete layer. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to duplicate this layer. So I'm just going to click the second icon. This uh, selects here. If I turn off the eye icon, you'll see nothing changes. That's because it's duplicated on top of itself. Um, what I'll do is I'll make sure both are visible. I'm selecting the new layer that I created. And if you are not sure which axis to mirror across, you'll see a little red line here and that tells you it's the X axis. Um, green is the vertical, that's the Y and blue is the Z axis. So this is handy little um, reminders on the grid. Okay, so uh, we want to flip it actually. Yeah, so we just want to flip it across the the work area. So we use this um, mirror uh, X axis or flip X axis button on the top bar. And there we have it. So now currently these are two separate layers. So any work you do on one uh, will not be seen on the other. Uh, you can never hide the layer you're currently have active. So I can't click the eye icon here. But as soon as I activate the other layer, I can then hide this one. So let's make them both visible and then merge the top one down. And let's say we rename it. Rename layer. And there we go. We're back to, to where we want to be so we can start turning on the mirror icon, our mirror option, and start modeling again. I hope this has been useful.